Hey team, it's a little bit cold. Uh, it's 9.30 at night and we've just been down to rescue uh, this quenda. We think it's been hit by a car. There's a lot of blood coming from its mouth. Uh, it's open mouth breathing a little bit. So Dr. Rogers is coming down and one of our nurses, Georgia, uh, to have a look at the quenda and if need be, take some x-rays and, and potentially, you know, if it needs, needs to be, uh, minor people to sleep. But there's also maybe some surgical options that we have available depending on what's wrong. So we'll go in, it's after hours, everyone's gone, but we don't sleep here at WA Wildlife Hospital. We keep going no matter the time, day, rain, shine, cold, you name it. It is very cold. Very cold. Come on in. So normally when we, um, during the day when animals arrive from the hospital, they'll go straight into a incubator, but because it's end of night, these get turned off, so we'll quickly turn on these on. Uh, and that way we get the quinder's body temperature up to a good temperature. Uh, just turn that one on. Things just feel heavy tonight I'm tasting no tears I'm fighting no fears So you can see he's got some pretty um, <clears throat> some pretty horrible injuries He's got blood coming out of his nose, out of his mouth I don't know if it's broken, dislocated but we are so lucky that we've got the WA Wildlife Hospital here and we've got an amazing veterinary team of volunteers that do after hours calls and our vets coming down. You know, in the past an animal like this would just die, there'd be nowhere for the members of the public to call to take it. We do have a 24 hour phone number so we receive calls like this all times of the day and obviously if the animal is critical and they can't get it to their usual vet, um, we do after hours trips down to the hospital to do as much as we can. So, you know, I'm really proud to be part of the WA Wildlife Hospital team and the WA Wildlife team. Um, because we're achieving amazing outcomes like this and helping wildlife live. Unfortunately, the little quinda has a badly broken jaw. Dr. Meg uh, does some x-rays and it's not looking good. Um, one of his eyes is also popped, so this poor little fellow is in a lot of pain. Um, so Dr. Meg made the decision that euthanasia is in his best interest and yeah, we might not be able to you know, get him to the next day, but we can give him a nice peaceful ending to his life and easy suffering, which is sometimes what it's all about and all we can do. So these are the x-rays from a little quinder friend that was brought in. And unfortunately, he's got quite a nasty fracture of his jaw. And it was very displaced and he's also got a little fracture of the symphysis there as well. And so all in all, quite an unstable fracture, but he also had his eye protruding out of his head. Um, which is never a good sign for these guys because the chances of him being blind after an injury like that is quite high. Um, he was struggling to breathe quite a lot as well. Um, so you can see there's quite a lot of air in his stomach because he's been struggling so much and breathing so much air that he swallowed quite a lot of it. So all in all, he was in a pretty poor state. So unfortunately, we did have to make the decision to put him out of his misery. Love's taken flight Things just feel heavy tonight.